Hello family and friends. I am still baking cookies and today it's going to be a date swirl which is an old family tradition. Uh, it came from my mom um, and from her mom and I don't know how far back this goes but I start by taking my dates and even though they're pitted dates I still cut them in half to make sure that there's no pits in them because sometimes there are. And I'm going to be doubling this recipe, but I'll put how to make a single batch in the uh, description below. So I'm just going to cut all these in half and then I'll show you what the next step is. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that pit there. Just pull it out. You can see I found a few already. That would be no fun to bite into. Okay, these are the ends of the pits that I found and was able to pull out. A rare occasions I have found an entire pit, but this is something that you definitely don't want to have in your cookies. Now that the dates are made sure that they've all been pitted, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to give you the ingredients for a single batch, but I'm doing a double batch. So it would normally be one pound of pitted dates. It would be a half a cup of water. And it would be a half a cup of sugar. So I'm going to cook this down. And I use my favorite wooden spoon for this. You can see how this has become just real mushy. And this is what's gonna spread in the middle of the cookie when we roll it up jelly style. But I turned the fire off and I just kept, you know, mashing till all the dates were smushed. And uh, I brought it to a low boil. And then when it was nice and thick like this, now I turn the fire off and I'm going to add a quarter cup of chopped nuts, whatever you choose. And I'm going to mix that up inside of it. And then we're gonna let this cool while I make the cookie dough. And I'm gonna make my cookie dough one at a time makes it easier when you're rolling it out. You don't have to equally measure each batch of cookie dough to... Whoop. Okay. That looks good to me. 
So we're just going to let this sit here and cool. And we're going to make the cookie dough and I'll show you that. I chop my nuts. I have this cute little, I'll show you. It's a cute little Cuisinart. It's a mini prep processor. And I do all my nuts on these and I just love it. And I'm about to wear it out, I'm afraid. But um, I don't, I can just chop little bits of things, which is fabulous. So I thought you'd like to see what that was. And we're gonna make the cookie dough now to go with the date swirls. Very easy recipe. I use a half a cup of butter, which is already in here. I don't know if you can see that. And let's see, I'm going to add um, a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to let that get mixed up well. I'm adding one egg. Get that mixed up really well. Now I'm going to add two cups of sugar. I'm sorry. I'm going to add two cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we'll get this going. Well, it should be coming together. I guess it needs the warmth of my hands, so I'm just going to get in there with my hands and mix it up. And we'll see what happens. Okay, I need a little more moisture to this, so I think I'm going to add tablespoon of water. I don't know why it's not coming together because my measurements are the same that I've always used. But we'll just problem solve and see what happens. Let's see how it's holding together now. Now we're going to roll this out. I usually use wax paper, but unfortunately I used up the last of it. I didn't realize I was so low. So I'm using these parchment squares that I bought. But they're never the size of my cookie sheets. And here's a little tip. I don't use flour um, when I'm rolling out my cookie dough. I use powdered sugar. It just, oh, I don't know, it keeps the dough sweetened and not dry. So I'm going to put it on one sheet for the bottom and I'm going to roll it out into a rectangle. The size of what I've got here. I'm going to sprinkle some on top. And yes, my counters become a mess. And I'm going to use my favorite rolling pin. I love this. It's a marble rolling pin. Let me get you over here so you can see what's going on. 
but it's heavy and it takes so little effort to roll it out. cookie dough. And what I'm going to do now is put the filling on here. So it's been cooling while I've been making the cookie dough, but it's still warm so it's easy to spread. And I'm going to want to take about half of this and I just start globbing it on. it out. For a simple little cookie, it really is very impressive and it tastes fabulous. It makes the house smell great. And like I said, just cut off a few pieces when people come over, throw them in the oven. They're going to love the smell, love the flavor impressed. It's a great little holiday cookie to always have on hand. And now I just start by picking up the end, rolling it in all the way. And then it goes in the refrigerator. So I think. These are too short because I like to have it completely covered when it goes in the refrigerator and you can see that the ends are sticking out a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do, I know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut off the ends. Okay, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I will take them just like this to the ranch and then I'll bake them at the ranch. That way they have a nice cookie smell, a festive smell in the house. Not like there isn't any way with all the cooking that goes on. But let me get this in the refrigerator. That's it. These are the date swirls that I made and they've been in the refrigerator for a few days and I have some friends coming over and I thought how nice it would be to have the house smell like fresh baked cookies even though they've been sitting in the refrigerator. Um, this is an easy cookie and great cookie to have in the refrigerator so when guests come over you have a treat for them. So I'm just going to cut these into about, well this is the end, so that doesn't count, but they're going to be about 
say about a half inch. And I'm just gonna cut them in slices and put them on the cookie sheet. I'll wrap the rest of the dough up, put it back in the refrigerator for when I have friends visit again. This is a great one for the holiday season. That was my oven telling me it's ready. These will puff up, so you want to allow room for them to expand. There we go. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap it in fresh wax paper. Then it goes back in the refrigerator until I get company again. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for about mm, 12 minutes and I'm going to check them and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. So here's what they look like when they come out. They're a nice light golden brown. I'm going to bring them in closer and right now I'm going to let them rest on the cookie sheet and they'll be ready when my guests get here. So that's the date swirl that's been in our family for very long time, easy to make, and delicious. So, until next time, make it a gorgeous day every day. Bye!